Hi, I'm Lisa Plagemeyer. I'm the Executive Director of the National Cybersecurity Alliance. And we're here today with Marin. Marin, would you introduce yourself, please? Sure. Hi, I'm Marin. I'm 17 years old. And yeah, I'm a high school student. Marin, do you have any tips for us today on, on how to get through a privacy policy, what to look for, <laughs> how, how not to get distracted halfway through and stop reading? Yeah. So um, I have an iPhone, right? And I know that a, a new iOS update, Apple has a summary. When you go to download an app, they have a summary on what information the app collects. So if you're on Apple and you're trying to download an app, you can kind of read through the summary and see the basics of the data they collect. Um, but I think it's still important to read through the entire thing, you know, just so you can get the full idea. Um, if I don't understand anything, I Google it most of the time. And that's very, I mean, it's easy to find out what stuff means when you Google it, you know. Um, and also just, you know, reread it if you don't understand. That's what always works for me. So I guess I have a, I have a question. So when I watch my kids with their phones, um, you know, there's that split second where you get that that pop up that says, you know, do you want to share your location or do you want to share this? Oh, or do right. you want to share that? Or do you want to accept cookies? Mm -hmm. Like whatever it is, it's so yeah. fast and you just want to get to whatever it is you want. So, right. so how do you stop yourself in that moment mm -hmm. from just, you know, forging ahead <laughs> and, right. and allowing yeah. more than, than maybe you should? Mm -hmm. Well, I've definitely had stuff in the past where I just, it's like an automatic response. You don't even think about it. Like you said, you just exactly. click it, right? Um, and so for me, I always try to take it slow. You know, I'm like, if I see a pop-up, I don't freak out or I don't just click. I look and I read it and I say, let me think about this for a second. You know, is it worth me? I'm reading this. Is it worth me like going through if it's something that I don't want, you know, or like, should I share my location? Should I not? You know, I think that it's good to just read it and understand because like a privacy policy, you could be giving away stuff that you don't want to just by clicking it without even reading, you know? Right. Yeah. Any advice that you have for young people that you want to share? Um, I would say just, you know, kind of think twice about what you're doing online, you know, not only with the apps that you download, but also what you do because it's, you know, you have a digital footprint, you know, so everything you do, you know, even if you're like incognito mode or whatever, it's still collected, right? And it's still your footprint. Um, and, you know, things that you do can impact you for the rest of your life, right? And so that's what I would say, just make sure that you're thinking twice about that. Nothing's temporary on the internet, is it? No matter what that app tells you. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah, it's true. It's true. And I know that when, especially when you're young and you have a phone, um, it's really, really, really hard to resist that peer pressure to get all right. the same apps that all your friends have and to be cool. So I, I credit your strength of character <laughs> growing up with technology and being able to to say, hey, wait a minute, my privacy is more important than some of this peer pressure. And my right. online life that's going to stick with me my whole life is more important to me than, than the peer pressure at the moment. Because I know that's that's a huge struggle for a lot of kids. Yeah. yeah. So um, thank you for being with us today. I really appreciate yeah. you doing this. And um, great advice. This is super. Thank, thank you. you.